Hey everybody, welcome back to Minecraft Floating Islands. We are back to where I died last episode. That is right, we are back. So, how I got here was that I spawned all the way over there, walked all the way over to our village here, jumped off there into the water here, and then went and got my stuff. I didn't think that it'd be very interesting of a walk, so I did not record it. But anywho, now that we are here, I've been thinking that we need to upgrade our tools after all there is no way to get back up there so why not just start a mine shaft here and then find a way to wrap around up to the surface and you might be asking how am i supposed to get the tools when all i have is sticks and no wood well guess what there's conveniently logs right here so i'm just going to break some of these like I know that it's kind of disrespectful to be taking out there. Okay, zombie, please don't. Please stop. Kind of disrespectful to be breaking the villagers' crop garden, but like, this isn't the best place to have crops. And I'm going to be building a big farm up on the mainland, so I don't think it'd be too big of an issue to break this one right here. Actually, I might just build a giant farm over there. Not sure. I'll have to decide later. Oops, did not mean to do that. Hopefully I didn't break anything. Is that a floating house? Is there a villager inside there? There's another house right there. Another house right there. Wait, so maybe the village up there isn't very small after all. But like, because this is floating islands, everything just got spawned really weird like oh wait there's another villager right there and another iron golem okay we're gonna have to build down probably from there to there to there and save the rest of these villagers connect all the houses oh snap okay that's gonna be a later project they're just gonna have to sit steady in their houses for me to save them oh creeper Hey creeper. Hey creeper. No, thank you. Dang it. That's unfortunate. Ah, uh, can't be helped though. Just going to patch it up like a so. Make sure there's no two blocks wide so that no mobs can spawn under there. Because that'd be rather annoying. Yikes. Alright, our first creeper explosion of the server. That's just great. I'm glad it wasn't up there where our houses are. But down here where it can be fixed. Now you might be wondering where I got all of my XP. And that is, when I first jumped down here, there were zombies that were on fire. Because they were sitting underneath the ledge. Ledge here, in the shade. But then when I fell down, they all walked out. And I went ahead and killed them. Because they were on fire, and they, I just let them take a few bits of damage, and kind of just got the cheese kill. And got some XP back that way. And yes, I'm going to be taking all this wood. Because wood is very much needed. Okay, so I think I'm going to start the mine shaft right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put our crafting tent table right there. Crafting bench. Alright. Probably should have built an axe, but it's okay. There's not too much wood left to break. And we do want to have a stone axe. A stone axe and a stone pickaxe. All 
right, we got more than enough wood to begin our mining. All right, hit the Stone Age, let's go. And why is it so dark? Oh, floaty islands, this island's kind of blocking out the sun. That's yikes. Let me see if I have my brightness up all the way. Brightness is bright right here. All right. So we can finally build ourselves a stone pickaxe. I'm just going to build two, just for convenience sake. Do we have any torches? We do not. Okay, well I did see some iron over here. Yep, right there. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab. Here's some zombies over there, which is kind of creepy, but that's okay. Just like that, we got ourselves some iron. We should probably build ourselves a stone sword when things get dangerous. I'm going to go a few blocks in and I'm going to start mining upwards, I think, so that we could probably get back to the surface as quickly as possible. So now that I think of it, we do not have torches on us, and that's not good. Just like that, we're going to have our pathway all the way back down there. Fantastic. Heading over here, we're going to finally have the wood to build ourselves a chest. I'm going to put the chest over here. Store all our miscellaneous items. I'm also going to go ahead and build ourselves four furnaces because I do like to have things smelted quite quickly. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill off these two walls here like that. Add space for the lock post right here. Add three high for this wall. Another lock post here, and the wall will begin again right there. I'm just going to go ahead and now build us a shovel. Two shovels because convenience. And just going to start finishing off this basic house layout. Probably shouldn't have converted all our planks, all our logs into wooden planks, but it can be helped now. A 
little bit of terraforming there. All right. Boom. Just like so. All we need left is the log post to finish out our roundhouse. All right. I'm going to build a bit more chess for us. Like a so. Two right there and probably one right here. Like that. That looks pretty nice. Okay, so for this wooden chest, probably just going to put all our random weaponry. Here we're going to have all our miscellaneous items. Probably should build a sign. Now that I think of it. Just like that. We're going to have this to put our tools. Over here we'll have our miscellaneous items. And here we can have our blocks. Just like that. Made a bit organized. Made it a bit organized. Probably gonna build our door as well while we're at it. We're already running a bit low on wood. Don't like how it's opening onto the right side now that I think of it. Probably gonna make it open on the left. Like a so. And I fell again. Alright. We spawned quite a distance away. But I'm pretty confident we could find our way back. It's always good to know the position of the sun when you're lost because you can always tell your direction there and like the sun set over there that's why I knew if I had the sun behind me I should be able behind me when it, the sun's rising I should be able to find our base and lo and behold I believe this is yep there's the hay bale here's our makeshift fix I do need to fix that now that I have dirt again Let's head over here. Hello, villagers. Hello, villagers. Pick up the string. Ooh. Our pal here needs some iron to bolster his body. Down we go. We should be able to find our stuff. I really need to stop falling. That's a pretty, pretty annoying thing that I've been doing quite recently. Let's go ahead and fix. There we go. Oh, hey, villager. Kind of you to stop by. I'm gonna go ahead and put these doors here since we have some extra. Just to make sure that monsters can't just walk up. Did not mean to do that. Cannot just walk up. I'm going to break this. was that okay back up here we definitely need to get some 
iron for our pal here. Toss in iron ore. Might as well toss in our wooden weapons. Since we no longer need them. And get some iron to repair our friend here. Perfect. Hello, Brian. Brian, where are you? Brian? Don't tell me you died. You can't have Brian dying on us. Brian? Are you down here? He's not. Where are you? Oh, there you are, Brian. Brian, I have a friend. Friend, I have a present for you. Oh, do I need to... There we go. Brian, you're back in business. I heard something over here, though. You're an archer. Oh, is this like your workstation? Oh, snap. Okay. That's pretty crazy. Alright. We're getting a bit distracted here. Let's go back down. I think we'd do that, right? Yeah, we'd do that. Let's go back down. Oh, so there is a two spot here. All right, this will be the start of our mine then. This will be the mine. Already we found some iron, that's perfect. What I would like though is to find some coal. Fantastic, we've already gotten ourselves some coal. Alright, that's quite a lot of coal right there. And we do not have any wood on us, which is quite unfortunate. I hope I didn't spend all the wood we gathered from the farm place because then we'll just have to go collect some more wood probably from this tree actually I don't like how small it is should definitely invest in an axe very soon probably gonna build two doors to block off the mine shaft we don't want any mobs to come through the mine shaft and hurt our villagers. Yes, gonna invest right away in an axe. And you know what? Let's get another pickaxe. And then let's go ahead and make ourselves a lot of torches. Slap our iron ore in there and drop one coal. And alright everybody, thank you so much for watching this second episode of Floating Islands. I'll see you next time.